Good morning. You are listening to Upreach, a morning devotional presented by the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee, to encourage you as you face the opportunities and challenges of today. Let's begin this day together with some inspiring thoughts from God's Holy Word. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Psalm 23, verses 1 through 3. In our time together yesterday morning, I shared some thoughts from William Barclay regarding getting on and staying on the right road in life. This morning I would like to continue sharing his thoughts with you on this subject. Barclay continues, Anyone setting out on life must decide how he is going to get there and what route he is going to take. People are, broadly speaking, divided into two classes. There are the people who believe that the only way to success lies through hard, faithful, and conscientious work, that the gods, as Hesiod said, have placed sweat as the price of all things, and there are those who think that the way to success lies through knowing the right people and exerting the right influence and making use of others for their own advancement. In the end, there is only one way, the way of faithful work, for, in the last analysis, one will never hold down for long a job for which he is not fit. Anyone setting out on a journey must find out whether he must make a change on the way. To translate this into terms of life, this would mean that one must decide whether a job is an end or simply a means to an end. Now, this much is true, and it is particularly true of the ministry, A man will never do a job well if he is always thinking of the job to which he is going to move on. He should do every job as if it was the only thing in the world for him. And then, and only then, the next job will come along in its due time. The advice in the early railway guide mentioned yesterday was not to carry too much luggage. This is so in life, too. As Jesus says, one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Luke chapter 12, verse 15. We travel farthest and fastest when we travel light, and the wise person will always remember that happiness is never to be found in things. He will appreciate his possessions, but he will never see in them the highest values in life. To decide where we are going, to make up our minds how we propose to get there, to do each job as it comes with our whole heart and strength, and to value possessions but not to value them too much, this is our guide. What about you today? Do you know where the road you are traveling is headed? Are you successfully reaching the goals you have set for yourself? Why not ask God today to help you get connected with the good shepherd of your soul who can lead you to life everlasting? This has been Upreach a presentation of the Church Street Church of Christ in Lewisburg, Tennessee. I am Kyle Bolton, the pulpit minister at Church Street, and I would like to personally invite you to come and share times of Bible study and worship with us each week. We meet every Sunday at 9 o'clock a.m. for our morning worship, followed by our Sunday school for all ages at 10.15 a.m. Then we meet again at 6 o'clock p.m. for our evening worship. We also have a midweek meeting for devotion and Bible study on Wednesdays at 6.30 p.m. I hope to see you there. Have a blessed day. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that Great.